Hello, good morning. I just made this video to because I see that there is a bit of confusion. I have seen this post in uh, in in the Facebook group, and they are saying that uh, there is all these tools that are missing in Matrix Call. So let me show you because most of them are already in Matrix Call. So let's go for the first one. So the first one is cut to finger rail. So let me start and let me do it quite fast. So if I do something like this and now I just place here a profile placer, I will just, uh, what I will do from here, actually I will go and edit this one from the profile editor. So I can do something like this. To validate, I forgot to validate. So I do like this, I validate. So now we have, as you can see, if I have a look into the from view, let me just do the activate auto sweep. I'm just below the finger rail. So cut to finger rail. So if we go to the cutters, we have cut to ring rail. So I select cut to ring rail, select surfaces. These are the surfaces. Already the tool detects automatically the ring rail. I click enter. Let me just bring this up so I can see the display modes. And now, as you can see, I just cut the part that was inside the ring rail. So. The first one, the missing tool from these missing tools that got the finger rail, we will have it, is this one here. Plane and cube cutters. You are right, we don't have this one. Uh, no one has asked for this one so far, but if you believe that it's something that it's important to have, we can get it. We believe that it's quite easy to make any uh, plane or cube to do um, to cut uh, the ring, so you can do anything like this and extrude this curve, this curve pretty easy. So this is this would be the plane that and this would be the same functionality that the plane cutter will be doing and the same with the cube. But we can consider to uh, bring it into matrix call if you believe that this is something important. And do Boolean. Uh, I was a bit surprised about uh, this one because something cool that we have in matrix call is everything about the Booleans. So now uh let me just place a few stones here i will do it from like this all right so now if i place a few stones gems and i will place gems on curve do like this okay and with these stones I will place the cutters and now I will do from solid solid the boolean difference between this part and this part all right so now we have the boolean done as you know because uh, this is parametric we can get the ring rail and we can edit it at any time this will change everything even the 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 cut to ring rail that we have done so i can go to number eight and everything it has recalculate with the boolean is still there so undo boolean we don't need to undo the boolean actually because look at this so you can undo the boolean first of all so you can go and delete the boolean that i will do this later but you still have the gem cutters and the cut to ring rail. So you keep the um, the objects that has been in this Boolean, all right? So this is important to know. So we don't need the undo Boolean because this software is parametric and we keep everything that has been used in this Boolean. So now I can go to delete Boolean, but the only thing that I need to do is just show and show and we have them back here 
All right, so, and you still can keep doing anything that you want. So if you want to edit the profile, we can go to the profile placer and we still can edit this profile. And everything recalculates by itself. So the undo boolean is not a problem, a problem anymore. Met metal, don't work as matrix nine. Okay, so let's see how does it works though. So at least you know how it works. So we have the metal, let me just bring it on, um, metal weights. So these are the metal weights. Let me make it bigger. So you can have it like this. I select the polysurface and now I can say uh, calculate. And it's telling me all the weights with the different materials. So we have quite a few. We will keep improving that. So uh, something that uh, still we don't have is allowing customers to create their own uh, specific gravity so they can create their own metal. This is something that we still don't have, but we will put it also in, in matrix Well, We already have it in the to-do list. But from here, I really believe that you can get all the, um, all the weights that you need. Then a smart target. Yes, this is something that we don't have. But honestly, um, it's something that uh, no one has been asking a lot. But if you think because the workflows in Matrix Gold are different, uh, you can achieve the same results uh, with, uh, with using other tools. So if there is, I, I please ask if there is any uh, model that you use a lot, the smart targets, please send it to us. So we will show you how to make it with the actual Matrix Gold. And if we feel that is uh, harder to make it with what we have in Matrix Gold, then yeah, we can consider to add the smart target. A smart blend. So we have from transform, we have the shear smart flow blend. Okay, so then you have a smart target, a smart blend. So I would put this uh, in the same category from Matrix. Uh, yes, we don't have this, but I believe that we have different ways to uh, work with that. So let me show you, let me start from zero, because at the end of the day, what you are trying with the smart targets mostly, and if there is another case, please let me know, but is to give different shapes on the outside line. So now we have the ring rail. I will go for an outside. And what you would be using the smart targets probably is to add one here, one here, another one here. So you can play with this curve in different shapes. But let me tell you something. Now, what we can do with matrix call is we can go to the profile placer and use just this curve. And also this curve, I can go, let me just do like this and do a mirror, a uh, mirror. And now I will do the sweep tool with this, 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 and this. Okay. And now, because we can go back to the outside ring rail edit, and we can go to the edit profile, you can play with this curve. So if you want to get this and do more like this, you can do that. Or maybe you can do this. The same with this one. You can go like that. So you have many, many different options. You can add also, I select the curve, I can add another control point. I will add it here. So now you can go like this. So as I said, please let me know if you still believe that the smart target uh, can help you. But I believe that now having the profile editor allows you to do anything that you want. So I believe that with Matrix Goal, uh, we have solved this case with that. OK, and then Smart Blend, Cage, Edit, uh, Bounding Box. So 
anything anytime that you don't find anything you can find it here so uh, let me see what is it bounding box so we have it uh, here and uh, it is this is from the analyze box edit so we have it in the you see that the color is orange so if you go to the transform you go to transform you have the cage editing the cage edit the create cage so you have all the different uh, tools that you need uh, also here in the transform tab and then curve network uh, curve network is also in the surface curve network is also here so we have also the curve network and ring sizer don't work well uh, this is one of the tools that the people is saying that they love it and the people is quite impressed with that let me just import uh from the collections one uh just one ring so i can show you one ring that is already done uh, just say a cathedral ring i will get this one open uh, wait what i will do is just import it because then i will keep the picture here so i go to collections uh drinks cathedral and this one what i will do is import it okay so we have the cathedral ring here and now of course that this ring is parametric so i could go to the cathedral ring rail change the size and everything will change but just to show you the ring resizer that we have i will go to uh, what is it i think that is in tools uh, there we go ring resizer i will get the model so it already detects that is a number seven and now i can something very cool is that i can adjust the angle so there is a stones up to here so i want to keep all these stones the same distance everything the same distance now i want a 8 9 10 11 12 and also i want the halves so i want all this resize ring and there we go so it took I don't know if even it took one second, but we have all these rings uh, with all the stones in the same place, keeping all the distances so the custom, the setter can set the stones with no problem. We keep everything that is important at the same. The only thing that we have uh, been working with is with the sheng, and we added metal in that part, so the ring is in the right size. So I believe that this uh, tool works pretty well. So as I said, uh, I hope that this uh, video gives a bit more of clarity on all these tools that uh, you were saying that we are missing. And if there is anything that I'm missing, please let us know. We will be happy to, to improve with anything that you think that we should do in, in Matrix Call. Thank you.